guys, my name is Alina and I'm with ipodreels.com. Last week, I asked you on the community tab, which video would you like to see next? And due to popular request and demand, today we're making three freezer meals that you can cook from frozen in your instant pot and that are made with ground turkey. A lot of ground turkey. Below in the comments, after you watch this super helpful video, I would like to hear from you what video you would like to see next week as well. There will be three options, A, B, C. So make sure to let me know in the comments below which one you would prefer. Let's do it. Hi guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. talk about the freezer meal bags. Instead of using plastic disposable harmful for our environment bags, I discovered for myself this amazing gallon size silicone reusable bags on Amazon. So they're the same one gallon and they're literally amazing. They do have double zipper and they do fit quite a lot and what I like about them is how durable they are. Like you cannot poke, even if you poke there is no mark. So nothing actually leaks from them and I even use them to store food. Like let's say I made bone broth and I froze liquid in these bags and it's not leaking, it's just the condensation from taking it out from the freezer. It's a great alternative to glass food storage because it doesn't break, it's not as heavy and doesn't take as much room. So I really, really love this bag. You're probably wondering how do I label them since I want to reuse them for next time. So here's my another Ukrainian hack. You use the masking tape for like painter's tape and you just, I'll show you, you peel and stick on here and write with a Sharpie. And then after you use the meal, you can easily peel it off and do it all over again. How to wash the bags. You just wash them with soapy water and don't put them in a, di in a dishwasher. And after you just dry them, a <laughs> bottle of tool bottle is perfect for drying. Just open like this and dry the bag. Now they do get discolored a little bit. See that, and that's mostly from tomato paste and tomato sauce. This one has been already used, but it doesn't matter. Like who cares? It's clean. Ukrainian in me even saves and reuses the plastic bags. They come in, they come in in this amazing resealable bag that are used for storing stuff. So nothing goes to waste. So these are the bags I use for freezer meals and we're gonna link to them below. All recipes today and all recommendations are below in the description. Now let's start cooking. So unlike with chicken, you cannot add ground meat to the bags and then cook. You have to uh, pre-cook it, which takes literally 10 minutes and separate into pieces. And we're gonna do that on the stove right now and cook all turkey together and then divide into portions for recipes. You can also do it in your instant pot, but I find that because I'm not gonna be using it right now, there's no point in doing so. So skillet is the best way to go. So all you have to do is preheat skillet on medium to high heat and I'm using ceramic nonstick. So I believe there's even no need to add oil, add all turkey and cook it. Okay, so 10 minutes is perfect. Your turkey doesn't have to be cooked through. Um, pink pieces are okay, and the larger pieces are fine too. It doesn't have to be perfectly separated. We will do that later, or even when you cook. And see this juice at the bottom, that super flavorful turkey juice, don't discard it, we will use it. Now, because you cannot add hot turkey to the bags, I removed it off the heat. I transferred it on to the next burner that's off as soon as possible. And now I am going to um, transfer it to the bowls to cool off. So this amount of turkey, we're going to divide into um, three parts. And we use approximately, so four containers, four pounds. So one part is gonna be one pound, another part is gonna be another one pound, and the last third part is gonna be two pounds. So I'm going to transfer them according to that one. And you eyeball it, it's okay. It's fine to just approximate. All right, so now we are ready to assemble our meals. 
Recipe number one is instant pot turkey taco soup. And I'm gonna do the label first before adding ingredients. And doing soup first actually allows turkey for other recipes to cool off because we're going to add ground turkey last here. With instant pot cooking, it's important to uh, put tomato products on top. And that's why, think about it, you add freezer meal upside down. So we're going to add them first. So two cans of tomato sauce, and I'm using organic low sodium sauce. And then we're going to add our vegetables. In this case, it's two cups of frozen corn. A can of black beans. Again, I'm using low sodium ones as well. These are rinsed and drained. You don't want the gooey liquid in there. And I'm doing something else and I will share that instead of another can of red kidney beans, which I don't have, I'm going to add a, um, one cup of dried beans and then just add extra cooking time and uh, add extra liquid. So the rule of thumb is for, and again, it's approximate. You can always adjust the um, consistency of soup later with more broth. Um, for one cup of dried beans, you add two cups of liquid. And that's already factored in on my label. All right, this starts to be shaping up into soup. So then we have our spices and it's super simple. I call it like five minutes pantry staples lazy taco soup because I don't want to even chop onion and garlic for this one. So I'm using onion powder, garlic powder, low sodium taco seasoning, taco, taco seasoning, salt. So add that. A splash of maple syrup or honey just to offset the acidity of tomatoes. And last but not least, pound of our cooked turkey. And remember that delicious turkey juice. Well, it's kind of perfect to add to soup. So I factored in how much liquid I need for dried beans. I'm gonna add it now because I don't want it to go to waste. Nothing goes to waste in Ukrainian household. All right, so now you let out the air. It's actually still warm, so I would let it cool a little bit. And it's ready. Okay. Recipe number two are instant pot cabbage rolls. And these are lazy Ukrainian cabbage rolls. We're not gonna be rolling anything because that's too much work, even for this Ukrainian. We, we just chop everything and add, and it's gonna come out delicious. Cabbage rolls, one and a half cups stock. And then a high pressure, all my recipes are on high pressure, so that's fine with me. And I'm gonna do 20 minutes. You can make this your own, whatever you wanna write. And let's do plus 10 NPR, natural, natural pressure release, easy. So we are going to start again with tomatoes first. 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Again, they're low sodium. One can of tomato paste that is low sodium as well. Then we're gonna start adding our vegetables. So one large onion. And here I have about three garlic cloves and I love this chopper, especially for meal prep. It's super convenient to chop six, seven, 10 garlic cloves at the same time. Spices, so we, here we have um, dried thyme, oregano, and salt. And we have rice, two cups of brown rice. So this is getting full. What I'm gonna do is add turkey here as well. So now I realize that I have all this cabbage and I don't have room for it. So I have a solution. I'm gonna use another bag, and this is basically gonna be a freezer meal in two bags, which is okay. Gonna freeze the cabbage. It freezes beautifully. So how you would cook this cabbage roll um, freezer meal is add this bag first, like this, and then put cabbage on top. And now freezer meal number three is turkey taco meat. So you add everything to the bag, freeze it. And then when you're ready to make tacos, all you have to do is add frozen meat to instant pot. And while it's cooking, 
you can chop your fixings and get these tortillas and eat a piece of tacos. So let's do that one. So in here we have remaining one pound of our ground turkey. So I think I'm gonna crumble right with my hands and it's nice by this point, while we prepped two other freezer meals, it cooled off nicely. That's why I'm making this recipe last. And of course you don't freeze the fixings. This is just the filling, which is the most time consuming. So add your ground turkey into the bag. Oh my goodness, I'm a disaster <laughs> by number three. Okay, Olina. We're going to add one large onion and a um, couple of garlic cloves, one tablespoon of um, taco seasoning. You can add more, but this is the spice level we can handle. And it's low sodium. So I'm going also to add one quarter teaspoon of salt and a touch of maple syrup, just like a little touch. And now pepper. And there is one more ingredient left, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close it and swoosh things around before adding tomato paste. Why? Look, let's double check. Look how amazing these bags are. Okay, so you wanna swoosh around and separate um, meat with onion because instant pot is not good at cooking a blob of frozen meat together. And you don't want to um, actually uh, mix it too much with tomato paste for the burn thing. I don't think it's gonna happen. It's not enough tomatoes to burn. But this really helps with cooking it faster. I do it with all my freezer meals. If there is meat, let's say chicken breast, three of them, I separate them between vegetables. Works like a charm. Actually, I'm gonna get very creative I'm gonna create a well inside, dig to a hole to the bottom, and add a half a can of tomato paste there. So when you cook from frozen, you flip and your tomato paste is on top and not causing burn. But what tomato do paste does, it creates this awesome, like amazing sauce. Like I don't like dry turkey tacos and turkey is dry. It makes it saucy and yummy. So now to cook this, you just add half a cup of water and cook. And just in case um, it comes out a little bit too liquidy, you can always add a flurry of, um, flurry of uh, let's say two tablespoons of cold water mixed with one tablespoon cornstarch. And press saute and heat it up, it will thicken. Thicken, thickening flurry. And a few tips on the way to freeze these bags because you have to be able to fit them in your round in some pot. Of course, if you have eight quarts, it, sh it will be easier. I know from the experience because I have both eight and six. But here are a few tips in any case. So this is the bag. So if you can stand it upright and tuck it in between other items in your freezer, that's awesome. This is how you freeze it. Don't lay it flat because you will never be able to fit it into in some pot. So like this, you can also, to keep it in this shape, you can use a clip, food storage clip, and clip whatever works the best. So you can clip on top, like this. Or sometimes I find it a little bit hard, like with a lot of liquid, to get it out of here, the corner. Oh man, let's pray this doesn't open. So I clip it on the bottom. Then I literally stand it up like this in a freezer. And another thing, another tip is you can use elastic bands. That will help to keep things in place. Like even I'm thinking like this. Oh, this is perfect. Look, ta-da. And if you have a bucket with honey, <laughs> It's full of honey, so I don't have to show this to you. But if you have this kind of bucket from ice cream or something, save them because you can literally put it in here, maybe smaller than this, kind of like, and it will take this shape and fit into your instant pot.
So then for cooking a uh, freezer meal, you don't have to thaw it, you cook it from frozen in, in, in your instant pot. All you have to do is run it under warm water, under the tap, to kind of like loosen it up from the bag so it easily slides into Instant Pot. So, I hope you enjoyed this three freezer meals with ground turkey. And don't forget to let me know in the comments below, ABC, which video you would like to see next week. And see you next time. Bye! Next Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Bye-bye!